Previously on Less Social. All the wireframing for the designer is done. Now the dad senior developer and his juniors eagerly await for the long-awaited design and in the meantime are ready to keep coding the functionalities of the app. What's up That's guys? Crazy. I've been uh, sleeping all weekend, but uh, still coding. You know, and I was reading this uh, quote today. Any fool can write. Uh, any fool can write code that a computer can understand. Good programmers write code that humans can understand. So I'm just trying to make it uh, so that other people can read my code. So yeah, let's keep going. We're doing left till social, mobile. I got um. I got a little bit of the wireframe, the low fidelity designs done. You know, I know I'm gonna have a, a top tab sliding thing here, where there's gonna be many tabs. I mean, I know there's gonna be something here, and then uh, there's gonna be a view switcher here, and I know I want some animations where maybe right now the scrolling will kind of have animation to hide some stuff on the top, and I know that I'm gonna have a chat room, and that's about it for now. But we'll keep on moving along. We're just waiting on the design, so there was a little bit of a hiatus. It's just time to get back on the horse, get to the finish line. Uh, the vector icons, bro. That was the that was that was um, so difficult because it was a it was a pure dependency from React Native Elements, and uh, it seemed like everything is out of date, mm. and one thing was getting updated and one thing wasn't. So I had to kind of run. A, I had to make a patch and uh, change up the node module code a little bit mm -hmm. to make it work. So it's working now, but um, yeah, that was, that was like a big bottleneck in the beginning. Um, oh, we're in, we're in March now. So actually this is a good time where we can look at the Trello board and start moving things to finish, right? So let's take a look. I think tonight I'll probably finish the uh, social logins. Okay. So uh, I think home screen is ready for QA. React Navigation's done. React Admin. I'll talk to Jocelyn. I think she's done with it. I init Admin Panel, I, I know is done. Woo, this is bugging out on me. Hold on. All right, we did the load the animation. Uh, check if email exists, endpoints done. API service stuff done. Persist login state stuff is done. Register screen, I think it's pretty much done. Create user endpoint stuff is done. React hook, form validation done, we set up Zod, set up the user model, forgot password screen done, set up async storage done, global state management with Redux done. I think some stuff is still being done with IATN. Um, I'll take that over. Oh, this is finished too. You got a lot more stuff done in 2025, uh, in January than February. I'm pretty happy about it. I'm keeping going, but uh, the ones that I want to do tonight are probably the social login stuff. So those will probably be done by uh, next time. Microsoft login, I think that's what Song said is like popular in America. Mm -hmm. Apple login will wait, and then um, I'll probably set up React Native Web View and set up some simple web pages where we can put a bunch of text in for terms of service and privacy policy. I think I'm gonna switch out my async storage for MMKV. I think it says it's 30 times faster, so I like that. We gotta get finished by the beginning of middle of April, like April 10th. So we can start putting everything for deployment. Uh, yeah, let's just keep on moving forward. Uh, Got to start. Uh, this week's pretty hectic for me, but no excuses. I'll keep working. Uh, just working here. Uh, it's getting pretty late. Fixed the uh, main wrapper stuff. I got this kind of, I'm working on this screen. But just got, uh, I'm still setting up the TypeScript for uh, my theme. So just got to keep working. Get it done. Um, see in the next one. Uh, with the initial main wrapper, I think in the uh, in the debug mode, I just set everything to center, and I had a couple things where I was having padding mm -hmm. for like the safe area view, but I realized React Native Elements does the padding for me. Mm -hmm. So uh, I was double I was double adding padding everywhere. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of messing up my layouts, but everything is better, and some layouts are going to be different than the others. So. Um, like main screens will probably have that main wrapper. Chat screen will be a little bit different. List screens will be a little bit different. So let's just, uh, just keep going. Um, definitely, I think past experiences help a lot because, um, you know, it's not the first, first rodeo. 
or whatever. It's um, I know maybe how something should look, or uh, something should work, and uh, I have an idea, but we haven't even gotten that deep yet. So, a lot of it is just setting the project up and making sure like, you know, any redundant code, you just do it once, like a wrapper or something, and uh, just follow some like patterns and stuff, and uh, you know, a code base. It should be very consistent. There shouldn't be anything very random. So if you want to learn from me and you want to learn how to build a full scale application, click on the link below and let's get started. So the steps that we can do while uh, we're waiting for the design is just uh, maybe functionality. You know, um, that's why I'm talking about social login. We can set up like the web view, the image picker. Maybe we can start uh, making some kind of form to post something to the database. Uh, retrieve the posts and things like that. Just set up the you know low fidelity wireframe designs. Hey, what's up, guys? Just uh, having a second meeting with uh, Ross right here. I'm gonna show him um, what I built so far in the wireframes and um, let's see where it goes. So it depends, right? Because there's a lot of like design work and then there's a lot of. Um, functionality work mm -hmm. but what we can do is all the functionality work but make sure it doesn't mess around with any of the design work that might come in mm -hmm. so it's like a great balance mm -hmm. but um you know we know that we're going to post something to the database we know that we're going to have comments we know that we're going to have replies to comments you know we know we're going to have replies to replies so we're going to have to figure that out we know that we're going to have some onboarding screens there is a bunch of work to do mm -hmm. but just put those steps in place to wait for a design but once the design comes in implementing the design it also depends on the design, right? right? But I'm kind of hoping if the design system is correct and everything is good, you know, it should be easy to implement. You know, it should take no longer than, you know, three weeks. Uh, just going through the code base real quick. Um, so I don't think I really did this before, maybe with um, the whole code bases. So we have let social back in cd uh dot dot slash let's social admin all right so we're using um we're using a bunch of code here um react admin i think we did kind of i think i did show the code maybe this is gonna be a little bit redundant but for some of you but you gotta know that there are new viewers too so we're using something called um this molecular data provider which is gonna, cause molecular comes up with like all these like lists and get actions that um we can use here. And we're using something called React Admin, which is very good. We have a user service, but each of these that are running are gonna have be running in their own Docker container. So we have our create function, we have our um we have our exist function, we have our update function, we have a bunch of stuff here. Um, we have our methods where we're running our function for our factory function. And we have our me, uh, we have a resolve token that we use in our, and we're using Firebase in here. So I made a Firebase mixin. So that Firebase mixin is uh, just taking my Firebase admin key and uh, setting up some Firebase admin um, functions to be used within my code base. So that is what I'm using here and then um, we we'll just keep going there, and here I'm gonna be able to send um, push notifications and all that kind of stuff to the server. So next, uh, where we have the most code probably is the the uh, Let Social Mobile. So basically, I have my code base here. I have uh, my patches. I have my SRC folder. Uh, I have my lint, my prettier file all set up and everything like that. Um, I have my services, which I'm using React Query. I have my query provider, I have my query wrappers, and then I have my um, I have my domain services, so like user service, and each of those will have the index, the query keys, repository, and types. The repository will just be the requests with the Axios, and then inside of the index, I'll have it, uh, it'll ex export the, uh, the functions in the repository with the uh, React query. So it makes it everything, it makes everything pretty clean. What I've been working a lot on is the uh, theme, the definition file, and all this kind of stuff. Yeah, 
I think everything is looking pretty good. Let's get started. We have a bunch of small little components. Uh, so I can sign in here. Sign in. I sign in here. And then I, I'm gonna make some little tool tips here where um, it's gonna give you some information about what these are actually doing. I think that's gonna be like all around the app to kind of give people instructions. Yeah, the app is looking pretty good. It's uh, at a pretty cool state and uh, hopefully it'll be um, more done by the next time I see you guys. So right now we're working on three code bases. I do need a landing page. I do need um, a web client as well. So I'm just gonna keep moving forward. So some thoughts I have on upcoming like challenges is just like, you know, we might get rejected from the app store or play store and you just have to, you know, make sure your permissions are correct. You know, um, maybe something with like push notifications has changed. I have to set that up. Um, yeah, we don't even have an Apple developer account or a play store account yet. We have to get those set up. We have to set up some um, kind of fast lane stuff. You know, it's just like, Programming is always changing and the documentation is always changing. So I have to read it over and I'm not, you know, I used to know how to do it, but me, I don't know how to do it now. So I have to read and, you know, get all that done and um, whatever happens, happens and you have to think on your feet and get it done. So if you want to code like me and the way I've done it, click on the link below and join the mentorship program. And if I can do it, you can do it too. Coding saves lives.